You are watching episode 3 of the straight line quest across Luxembourg. In this episode I will tackle, among other things, the first big river, a village with a few houses and properties lying exactly on the line, some incredibly steep hills and much more. Despite all these obstacles, in this episode I would attempt to keep up my straight line, which I've managed to do pretty well so far. The furthest I had deviated offline in previous episodes was 64 meters and I knew that if I didn't go any more offline than that in this episode, I'd be very close to finishing with a line I'd be satisfied with. Having just crossed the highway in dramatic fashion, you join me in the afternoon of day 3 of the straight line quest across Luxembourg. A quick update on the line. As we were nearing the river, there were a few obstacles all packed together right before it. First of all would be this property with this huge farmhouse. We hoped that no one would be home here so we could cross their property to the right of this small shack here which would only take us one meter offline. If there were people home though that would mean we had to go to the left of this shack which would take us about six or seven meters offline. And then after that there would be this farm with a lot of small fields and potentially fences and we would be visible to two roads at the same time so we'd have to cross that pretty quickly as well. And then after that there would be some rail tracks and we suspected that there would be two high fences to the left and to the right of it to prevent people like me from just crossing it and walking over it. And then lastly there would be the river and with this house here we kind of hoped that there would be no back garden right here where we had to cross it but there was the possibility that we had to enter the river in someone's back garden as well. In short this episode starts right away with a lot of tough challenges and first up I'd have to get through this property right here. It became clear pretty soon that there were people at home and that they would undoubtedly see us if we kept on walking. Hello, how are you? Do you speak English? Okay, we are walking through the entire country in a straight line. So, and our line goes this way, so would you mind just step me, uh, like crawling under that fence and just going there? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Uh, Germany is that way? Germany is that way? Yes. Okay, thank you. Thank you so much. Have you seen more walkers on this path? Are we the first walkers on this path? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Checking. Thank you. In the end, that took us seven meters offline. Up next was the small farm. Alright. Here we go. Hope there's no dogs or people. Like, for sure, if someone sees me, they think I'm stealing a chicken. No doubt. I'm sorry. Try not to walk on the plants. All right, doable. And here's some chickens, yo. Hello, amazing. Hello. It looked like there weren't any fences beside the railway. And so it was time to get our transportation device for the river ready to go. I prepared for this situation because I saw the river on Google Maps. So I present to you my flotation device. Moyen. Hello. And together with this beauty of a raft, I march towards my destiny. Here we go. First, we got to cross the train tracks. First train track of this trip, exactly on the line. Unfortunately, we cannot move through or over the house as we don't didn't bring a ladder. I guess we just go down here. Yep, I hear the river. Where do I enter this river? There's not like really a nice entrance. I guess this is the best I can do. All right, uh, how am I gonna start sitting in this thing though? What am I doing? Okay, I guess we can just kinda... Oh shit, my phone is not in the bag. <laughs> shit. Here we go. Oh no, this thing sinks so far. Oh, does it even hold me? It does kind of hold me though. Half of my pants is getting wet. All right, here we go. Oh shit. Here we go. We're floating. Okay, I gotta make sure I go towards Jakob as much as I possibly can. I can kind of walk here. Oh no, my whole pants is getting wet. No, these are the only pants I brought. Man, the things you do to get across an entire country in a straight line. Right here, it's like 20 centimeters. Like I could even stand up. 
to be honest. Uh, I made it. I had successfully tackled the two biggest obstacles of day three, the highway and the river, taking me 9 and 27 meters offline respectively. As we were moving further east, we noticed that the landscape was getting more and more hilly. Until now that hadn't really been a problem, until we bumped into an incline that was so steep that we doubted if it was climbable at all. Oh, okay, this is very steep. Oh my god, this is almost vertical. That's where I came from, that was pretty doable. Uh, uh, the bad thing is I have a GPS device in my hand, so I, c I can only really use one hand. Okay. Almost there. If I slip down here, it will be a painful fall. Man, I'm so scared about that I will fall here. Just have to crawl up there. Oh, kind of a hole here for my fingers to crawl, cling onto. Oh, yes. I think I made it. Yes. Yes. I made it. Oh, that was so steep. Look at that. Oh, you fucker. Oh, man. All right. Fence number 365,522,504. Woo! Look at me. Oh completely covered in nature and I'm, I'm not even gonna take it off because there's no point there's like a thousand more fences to go still so I hallucinate when you call my na -na -na. why didn't we just didn't pick we just a smaller country, country? <laughs> cows, cows fences bushes non stop non stop, stop, stop. Another crazy story. <laughs> I was just like lying along the road waiting for Jakob. It's like next to a cornfield where we had a our lunch break. And then some woman like drove by. Then she went back to ask me if everyone was everything was fine. And uh, I was like, yeah, I'm fine. Walking across the, an entire country in a straight line, blah blah. Then she was like, oh, okay. He's not fine, by the way. <laughs> <laughs> Shut up. So then she actually drove on and then she drove past Jakob and she was like, yo, do you know that dude that's just lying along the road there, completely dead? I was like five or ten minutes by foot away from there, just walking down a random street. Yeah. So she was like, just came up to me, stopped and was like, yo, you know him? And I was like, yes. <laughs> and then she asked me if you should call yeah, the ambulance. What? Because yeah, she w wanted to call the ambulance because oh, yeah, you looked so bad. I was just chilling. I was like, nah, nah, he's vibing. pretty good. <laughs> Up next, we'd have to sneak past the first horses of the day. We couldn't go around it as that would take us almost 50 meters offline. And so, not for the first time on this trip, we had no choice but to at least attempt to walk past the horses. Can I walk through? Under there, yeah, right? mm -hmm. Fortunately though, the horses didn't really care and so we were able to bag our first triumph over horses this trip. After this victory we soon arrived in Glabach, the first village of this trip. Well, as far as you can call this a village. Although we estimated the population of Glabach to be 50 people at most, it still posed a big threat to our straight line. Initially I thought I made sure the line didn't go through any villages, but apparently it did. So we're gonna have to improvise and just pace through any gardens and properties that were on the line. I kinda feel bad for going over this fence. Can this one? Oh yes! Yes! Nice. There's actually a trampoline on the way, should I jump? Nah. <laughs> Yeah, let me just quickly go here. Quick, quick, quick. 
sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. Try not to break anything. Next up was this big property and because going around would take me too far offline I decided to ring the doorbell to see if I could maybe go through the house. I kind of have to go through his house so I'm just gonna try asking if I can go through his house. Maybe he's in there. Hello? Hello? No one here. Alright, I'm gonna explain it in English. But if they don't speak English, I'm gonna have to try in German, which is gonna be hard. Unfortunately though, no one was home. And then I proceeded to make the dumbest decision of the whole trip. Instead of going around this property to the right, which would have only taken me 17 meters offline, I thought going around to the left would be the best option. Okay, I guess I just gotta go up here. Oh, there's no one here. Otherwise I just pretend I'm not lost. I'm just lost. Hello? Hello? Oh, I think it's the cow who's making that sound. I'm just quickly gonna go. Wow, this is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. A wild human appeared. Who are you? It was safe to say we were slowly losing our minds. In the next clip we can be spotted going crazy about an airplane flying through the clouds. How is this possible? Why isn't it colliding? It's flying through the clouds. <laughs> Why is the plane not colliding? <laughs> Why isn't it? Whoa, what are you doing? No! How? It's magic. This country is magic. How did he just do that? It's amazing. Teach me! <laughs> Luckily for us, the day was coming to an end. This is the last goodbye of this series. Goodbye, my dude. All right, so first of all, it's not gonna rain until one, which is very good news. Second, the sun is setting in 17 minutes, which means I'm pretty sure I'm gonna have to sleep in that forest. I might just set up my, take some time to set up my tarp, just at the edge of that forest behind the cornfield. All right, so. I'm walking through this cornfield right now. I found this open place and I think I'm just gonna sleep here for the night. So I'm just gonna sleep here, get up real early and tomorrow is gonna be a long day. Currently set my tarp up and my bed up in a cornfield as you can see. If someone ever asks me what the weirdest place I've slept in is, I've got a very good answer so at least that's that. And tomorrow I have to walk a whopping 16 kilometers. So I'm putting my alarm at 5.50. All right, there we go. Got him all. All right, good night. So unexpected as well. I didn't expect there to be electric current on it. And all of a sudden I got this huge shock. Ich spaziere durch das Land in einer straight line. Kann ich durch deinen Garten gehen? So we don't have to use our climbing equipment. Wow, what a beautiful garden, but I'm pretty sure there was someone sitting inside. 